We on vacay mode. Vacay family is Sean. It's KC. And we're on vacay mode. And today I definitely want to let you guys know, or we want to let you guys know, all the do's and the don'ts for your first day on the cruise. You know, there's a lot of things that we don't want you to make a mistake on, but we do want you to do. So stay tuned and check. So, hey, my family, the first thing that I want you to do when you get on that cruise ship is get a tropical drink. <laughs> Everybody knows the first day you get on that cruise ship, you want to relax and you want just to have a good time and it starts the mood off right. So you definitely want to go ahead and get your drink. And I know I said tropical drink because I like something sweet, but you can get whatever it is that you like. But definitely do go and get yourself something fabulous to drink and relax and start that Cruise off right. Now you don't want to head straight to the buffet. Now that's normally everybody's, you know, saying first thing they want to do is go straight to the buffet to go grab something to eat. But that's something you might not want to do because that's where everybody else go. So you might want to check out the uh, the dining. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they have also two specialty dinings as well that you know that uh, uh, are open for you to do. They have main dining. I didn't know that either, but they have main dining where they serve you, you know, saying food as well. So it's less crowded and not a lot of people know about it. And you can be served at the same time, but instead of waiting these long lines, because everybody's crowded on the <laughs> ship. That's cool. You mean I don't got to get into that madhouse to get something to eat? Nah. <laughs> but hey, y'all, what you do want to do is take some pictures. We know it's nothing like saying, hey, look where I'm at. I'm on a cruise ship. I'm on the line. I'm on vacation. So I'm going to take that selfie. Yeah. Click. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, there are going to be a lot of um, cruise people around that want to take pictures of you. Let them take the picture. It's vacation. Have a good time. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with taking a picture. It's free. You know what I'm saying? So it's your decision if you want to buy that into the cruise. But you got options. So take as many pictures as possible. And if you got your own camera, hey, snap away. Snap away video. <laughs> so you don't want to do is take the elevator on the first day. That's a no-no. You mean I got to take the stairs? Unfortunately, if you don't want to get stuck on this uh, elevator for long periods of time, then don't take the elevator the first day. Now, because those that might want to take the elevator, you might it might take you a long time to get up to the Lido deck, to the buffet, or to the restaurants. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you got to remember too that a lot of, they're using those uh, elevators for luggage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're going to go from floor to floor dropping off luggage. So, imagine how long that's going to take for you to be stuck on an elevator or stuck waiting for an elevator, you know what I'm saying, to come. So, you might as well, you know what I'm saying, take the elevator. So, if you are in line and you see that X above the elevator, that's because they bring that luggage. So, you know what that means. Listen to KC, hit the steps. So, you're going to be waiting for a long time. Now, something you do want to do, what you want to do, you want to make that last call. And the reason why I said you want to make that last call, that last text, that last tweet, because once you get on and you start to move, guess what? All your phone service is going to be gone. So you want to do take that picture, make that last call, put that post up. Hey, snap, we're on vacation. And even go live stream that's that day because, like I said, if you don't have the little uh, uh, internet package, you know what I'm saying, you're no longer going to be live streaming uh, on the ship. Oh, that's a good idea. I, I like that. That's a cool tip. I really like that tip. So you don't want to skip the mustard drill. I know everybody hates this part of the cruise, but do not please skip the mustard grill because you're going to make everybody wait for you. They're going to be sitting around. It's going to be hours on end. It's going to be, you know, so what you want to do is don't skip the mustard drill. And, and another, another reason why you don't want to skip the mustard drill is because you can get kicked off the ship if you don't show up. Oh, it's mandatory. 
it's mandatory. So once again, <laughs> don't skip the mustard drill and please just follow instructions. Now something you do want to do, ladies get in that swimsuit, hit that pool or that jacuzzi. And the reason why you want to do this on the first day is because this is when it's less crowded. So you have time to just go on, relax and you know, just chill, have a good time while everybody else is running to the buffet or running trying to figure out and sort different things out, you know, on their first day. Guess where you're going to be? You're going to be in a pool with your drink relaxing. So that's what you do want to do. <laughs> hey, go ahead. And what you don't want to do is, what many people don't really want to, really don't tell you is, is head to the main dining. You know, everybody, that's a normal thing to do is head to the main dining at 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock or whatever time it is. But a lot of people don't know that they have special dining. Especially on the first day, they have a lot of good deals. So you want to, you know, make sure if you want to go, you know, the main dining, you're more than welcome. But, I, you know, we recommend on your first day, go ahead and check out the specialty deals. Because a lot of people don't, you know, saying uh, go to specialty deals on specialty restaurants on the first day so they provide a lot of different deals you know because normally people will skip the first day because they're tired low you know what I'm saying and and uh um and you know they can just go straight to the main dining but you know what I'm saying a little secret there don't be a lot of people over there so go ahead and go over there book your you know what I'm saying your <laughs> uh, uh, uh dinner there you know and they might provide you with free wine hey i was just gonna say that in one of our other videos, I'm going to do a scavenger hunt. We tell you what restaurant you can get that free wine in. <laughs> <laughs> so, last but not least, something you do want to do. And I know sometimes vacation, we don't want to do this, but you do want to is unpack. You want to unpack your things. And the reason why you want to unpack your things is because... You just want to get it out the way. You don't want to worry about the next day and you're, you know, you might have a good time. You know, you coming down from your high from the day before and you just want to relax. And you're like, oh man, I got to unpack because I got to get my deodorant out of here. Get this out of there. And it's just like, uh. So on that first day, you do want to unpack. And also, if you into decorating your door, you do want to decorate your door. Hey, it's an easy way to find your door that first day, though. <laughs> Yep. But last but not least, on your don'ts is do not assume that your room is in working order. Now, what do I mean by that? You know, go around your room and make sure your phone is working, sanitize the doors around it. Because even though you have a room stewardess, mm -hmm. I double check and make sure my room is working in working order. Because if you get through your cruise, and, I mean, you get through your room and you find out something's not working, the, the guest service is going to be so busy that they may not be able to get to you right away because, you know, uh, they're so busy right in there. So first things first is check your room out, you know what I'm saying, look through your room, make sure your plugs are working, your TV working, you know what I'm saying, even your hair dryer working, <laughs> even the plumbing in the, in, the, in the shower. A lot of people don't check these things until later because they want to have a good time, but when it's time to, you know what I'm saying, get it, I mean, time to check these items out, it's the wrong time. So be, be you know, do it up front, you know what I'm saying, when you first get there. So if you can report it, even if you might have to move rooms, you know what I'm saying? You did it up front. You can check it out and stuff like that. So, you know, that is my last don't. And that is my last do. So we hope these don'ts and do was really helpful for you guys. And um, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the family, go ahead and subscribe. Click that red button below so you can keep in tune when we update and let you know about our live stream, our latest travel news tips and crews. This is Sean. And this is KC. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out our latest, uh, tri latest videos on all our tips. See you next time. See ya.